There are many ways to promote your podcast, but research shows that social videos generate 1,200% more shares than text or image content, according to G2 Crowd. So in this video series, we're going to talk about repurposing your content, whether it's audio, text, or image, and turning them into videos. Hi, my name is Florante, and welcome to All About Podcast headliner video series my goal for this video series is to help you familiarize yourself with different headliner features but more importantly I'd like to give you some actionable tutorials that you can implement for your business so let's go ahead and get started the first thing that you'll need to do is to make sure that you have an account with headliner if you haven't signed up be sure to sign up and choose the plan that's suitable for you. Right now, there are three available plans. There's the free plan, the pro, and a bespoke plan. Once you have completed signing up, log in to your account. From your main dashboard, you have six different options to choose from when creating your video. You can click on Audiogram Wizard, there's also the full episode, video transcript, article to video, find my content, and you can go straight to editor. We will go over each one of them, but for this episode, let's start with Audiogram Wizard. So what you'll need to do is to click on the Audiogram Wizard box. Choose the audio file that you'd like to turn into video. Please take note that Audiogram Wizard is for files not longer than 10 minutes. If you have more than 10 minutes of audio, you'll have to choose the full episode instead. Once you have chosen your audio file, you need to decide whether to get the audio transcribed by toggling the on and off button. Choose the language that will be used to transcribe your audio, then click on Next. Set your clips Start and End, and if you are posting to a specific social media platform, you can choose the icon on the right. Each icon has its corresponding time limit. You can move the clips Start and End, and you can move the selection too. Once you have chosen the right length for your audiogram video, you can go ahead and click on Next. Choose the Aspect Ratio. There are three options for your Aspect Ratio. You can choose Landscape, Square, and Portrait. You have to choose the appropriate ratio for your video. Click Next. Customize your audiogram by choosing your preferred wave type, wave position, color, as well as background image. If you have a custom background image, all you need to do is to click on Add Background Image and locate the image in your computer. To customize the wave size, you can drag the corners of the wave to resize it. To move the wave to a custom position instead of the default up, down, or middle position, you can hover your mouse over the wave. And once you see a cross icon, what you need to do is to left click and drag to the position desired. Finally, click on Create Project. Your project window is a collection of the different elements from the previous steps. On the upper left of your screen, you can rename your project by clicking on Untitled Project. You can also save this as a template by clicking on the bookmark icon. Under the project title, there are two tabs, namely Transcript and Media. Below the Transcript and Media section is where you find the tracks that includes text, media, and audio tracks. 
The collection of these tracks is your timeline. Just above the timeline and beside the media tab is your preview window where you can see real time how the video would look like by clicking on the play button. To generate the video file of your timeline, all you need to do is to click on export. To complete the export, you'll have to provide your preferred email address where a notification will be sent once export is completed. You can also select the frame rate, video quality, and video size. If you have an intro or outro clip, you can just click on add intro or add outro. Click export to generate the video. Once the export of your video is completed, you can click on the link that appears on the upper right hand corner of your window. And from here, you will have different options. You can either save it to Google Drive, to Dropbox, you can copy the link, or you can share directly to your social media platforms. So that is how to generate your audiogram video using the audiogram wizard. In our next video, I'm going to show you how to generate or create full episode. And at the same time, we'll go over in detail how to edit your transcript as well as add other media to your timeline. My name is Florent and thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those questions in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe so you can receive the next updates for this video series.